Hi boys and girls, it's story time and our story today is one of my favourite stories to read at bedtime and it's called Before We Go To Bed and it's all about this little bear called Barney and how he tries everything not to go to bed. I wonder if some of you do that at home if we find out what Barney gets up to. Barney and Grandpa Bear were tramping home together after a busy day. What are we going to do next? Barney asked. Next, chuckled Grandpa in surprise. Next, I think it's bedtime, Barney. Grandpa pulled off Barney's boots with a heave and a squelch and a plop. Now, let's get ready for bed, he said. Not yet, Grandpa, Barney cried. I always have a giant ball of porridge before I go to bed. Some yummy, scrummy porridge with sticky, licky honey. Are you sure? asked Grandpa. Oh, yes, said Barney. Come on. Barney showed Grandpa what a brilliant porridge maker he was. And now for the honey, he cheered. But the honey was runny and it went everywhere. <gasps> Oops, said Daisy, giggled Barney. Time for bed now, said Grandpa, when Barney's tummy was full. <sighs> but I always have a big bubbly bath before I go to bed, said Barney. A splishy, sploshy bath with my squeezy, squirty toast. Mm, I suppose you are a rather sticky bear, said Grandpa, as Barney tipped in all the bubble bath with a glug, glug, glog. Oh, oh dear me. Barney splished and splashed in his lovely bubbly bath and the water went everywhere. Oh, said Daisy. Kick up Barney. All clean, Grandpa said. It must be bedtime now. Oh, but I'll never get to sleep without a story said Barney. A spooky, scare bear story with horrible, hairy monsters. Is a spooky, scare bear story a good idea just before bed? asked Grandpa. Oh, don't worry, Grandpa, said Barney. It's only a story. It's not real. So, Grandpa read the story. Mm. I think they might have been a bit spooked by that story because afterwards grandpa put the light on to make them both feel better oh, maybe we shouldn't go to sleep just yet he said oh, i've got a brilliant idea said barney oh, we could bounce on the bed shall we grandpa grandpa smiled all right then he said and first they did little bounces then they did bigger bounces. And then they did great, big, springy, zingy, boingy bear bounces until... <gasps> what do you think is going to happen, boys and girls? Crash went the bed. Oh, whoops a daisy, went Grandpa and Barney. Barney watched as Grandpa mended the bed. Then he gave a huge stretchy yawn. Sounds to me like it's definitely bedtime, said Grandpa. And he tucked Barney under the covers. There's just one more thing I need, said Barney sleepily. A super squeeze. Squishy, squashy. Bear hug. And then both bears fell to sleep until morning. The end. Hope you enjoyed that story boys and girls and I hope you don't make a big fuss like Barney did just before bedtime. Bye.